Hey guys, the name is Giga and um, yeah, welcome to my part mm, part four, part four of our episode two gameplay of Life is Strange, um, out of time. So in the previous part, um, yeah, we we went to this Just junkyard. Just day of Max's fucked up life. Time to go get Chloe. Okay, so yeah, we went to this junkyard and we show showed off um, Chloe some, you know, rewind time power something like that, and a guy named Frank. Um, came to us and you know um, talk about something about Chloe and Chloe realizes that Frank is wearing um, Rachel's bracelet so yeah um, Max held up a gun to Frank and yeah which we, ch we chose not to shoot him and now we're here <laughs> now we're here so yeah let's continue Chloe's our waiting to go gameplay. for a walk we both need a time out from here so yeah, even even you chose shoot or do not shoot, you know the gun well, doesn't have any gave ammo. Him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me, especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down, and I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Um... Yeah... Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Okay, so both of you hang out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Yeah, I think, um... Well, I think Frank stole it at the, you know... At Chloe's and Rachel's, you know... If you guys remember that... That shelter... In, in the junk... In the junkyard... Mm. I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. She had... has... A great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Uh oh. Screen tearing 
is very bad. Oh no. Hold on, Chloe. Uh oh. Oh my. Oh man, the train might get. Oh, there's What's a train. The train. Oh shit. Okay. Um. Find something. Hurry me. Wait, now what? Um. Whoa, man. Oh, your foot is that okay? Hey? Maybe there's. Come on, Max. Oh, there's Hurry. the crowbar. Come on. Yeah, let's rewind time a bit. Okay, there we go, and let's get this crowbar. I can definitely use this bad boy. Yeah, thank you, Gordon Freeman. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a Half-Life Easter egg, something like that. Yeah, sure. Now, Come on, Max. Hurry! Max, you can't just yank Chloe out like a superhero. Please, Move! Get me out of here. Okay, let's rewind time. Hmm. Wait, what is this thing? Yeah, we're going I to use. Can't even move it an inch. Yeah, let's use the crowbar. Uh oh. Come on, Max. Um, yeah, let's open this thing. Awesome. It's not locked. Oh, now what? <laughs> I better Why find a tool to cut those wires. Oh man. Okay, um tools. Let's rewind time a little bit. Yeah, let's look for the tools. Come on, Max. Um yeah, open the door. Come on. Shit, I can't budget at all. Yeah, use the crowbar. Uh, score. Come on, Max. Hurry. Okay, relax, Chloe. Going to look for the um, I don't know, for the tools. Please get me out of here. Oh, there we go. Come on, get the thing up. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. Come on, let, <laughs> come on, Max. Max. Come on, Max. Come on, let's save, let's save Chloe. Okay, open that thing up. Max, but which wire to cut? Um, hmm. Yeah, that's just the red wire. Max, get me out of here! Now that's yeah. the right cable. <laughs> that's nice. Oh man, come on! Yes, I did it. Whoa, get out! Whoa. Oh man, that was close. You okay? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will forever okay i think that's the end of episode two i'm <laughs> i'm still not sure oh yeah episode two still on thanks for the ride chloe right on time for my art lesson thanks for coming with me sorry to be so boring nothing exciting ever happens to us right listen your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Um. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Yeah, it's a game. It's Splinter Cell. <laughs> um, um, that's what I think. What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. 
Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Yeah, I wonder when Max and Chloe will tell about the, you know, the, the tornado. Because I, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it will happen in the future. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wondering. Oh yeah, let's talk to the principal, by the way. So are you going to that vortex Sir? party? Sir? Oh. Hello, Max. I, would miss it, I, have I to hope this isn't outfit. about the alleged gun incident. Um, yeah, of course alleged? it is. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Yeah, that's what you think. Um, hmm. Let's use this. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Okay, um, that was helpless of yours. Um, let, yeah, let's talk to Warren. Is this Warren? Oh no, it's a different guy. Same shirt, by the way. Um, hmm. Oh, it's Halloween. Uh huh. Yeah, and they're and they're talking about that snow thing. Yeah, let's talk to David. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Um, yes. <laughs> yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you. But it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. Yeah, I forgot about Kate Marsh. I forgot her. <laughs> I did hear the name Kate, but yeah, you know, I totally forgot her. Oh yeah, Kate, the girl, you know, the, the depressed girl. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. End of the word party. October 10. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, wow. It's 2013 at this year. Okay. Alright, there's a text from Warren. Oh yeah, that's the meme thing. That cat. <laughs> I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Yeah, um, let's talk to Warren. Hmm, what is this? Is it mine? 
I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Oh yeah, it's mine. And how come it's red? Oh, okay. There's red, white, and blue. Okay. No, I think those are her parents. Okay. Now, who is this? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Oh, it's Kate. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Hey, Kate. Let's stop. Leave me alone. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's talk to Mr. Jefferson. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Yep. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Uh-huh. Um, um, Kate's freaked out. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? No. She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes. Yes, I talked to her this morning. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Oh yeah, it's Nathan. Nathan Prescott. The one who holds the gun. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girl's bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Uh -oh. Listen, should I? Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Um, uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Okay, yeah, let's talk to Warren. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Go. I guess I'm out of time to turn in a photo for the contest. Irony. Turn left. Okay, so where is Warren, by the way? Oh, yeah. He's in the lab. In the sci fi lab. Oh, man. Yeah, I think let's talk to Warren first. That makes sense. Yep. Warren might be here. There, there he is. Hello, guy. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer! Perfect timing! I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Mmm, yeah. Well, potassium sounds better. <laughs> I guess, yeah, that's just potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Oh, oh, come on. Oops. Weird science. Uh, so what if we choose sodium? Big brain thing. Hey, Warren. Maxwell's asking. I have that. Yeah, let's choose. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is.
Damn, zip, nothing, nada. Yep, let's go. Don't be that hard. Hey, what? Let's go, um, go potassium. Lots of potassium. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See, look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Whoa. She blinded me with science. <laughs> yes, that was a blast. But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Yeah, wait, where's my hug, Barbie? Yes, that was a blast. But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Where's my hug? Bring me the brain, Igor. Okay, never mind. I don't want to laugh, but he looks so hilarious. Wonder why they don't use real skeletons. Wait, they are not real? What? Man, I thought those those things are real. Hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh oh. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's talk to. Yeah. Uh, um. Yeah. Let's talk to Alisa. Hey, bro. I saved you last. Um. Um. Earlier today. Okay, now we have a photo of Elisa. And Not now, Max. Her. I'm contemplating shit. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Let's, yeah, let's take. Oh, uh, we cannot take a photo of Dana. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Okay. Do you um, think how about Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Hey guys, or I'm she'll listening. run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max, so I won't forget you. Oh, by the way, that's needed. <laughs> And I, for I forgot about Nathan. Oh, what is this photo? That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. <laughs> okay. Oh man, Skate. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Yeah. Okay, now what? Do I need to, oh, it's Warren. <laughs> and look at, look at his face. <laughs> what up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll we have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. Yeah, I want to hear about this. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Oh, it's Chloe. Usually, no smartphones in class, Max. <laughs> Put that away. Oops. People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, 
We can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participating... It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Wow, that's nice. Patient. There are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. Yo, <laughs> what did you draw, Max? Who is this guy? It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrasts. Although we don't. I guess Kate will miss class now. Some crazy shit is going I'm on worried about her. her. Zachary, Check it. do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Uh oh, I, dismissed. I think it's about Kate. Yeah, something bad happens to Kate. Uh oh. Is this for real? It slipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Uh oh, yeah, it's Kate. Oh man. Oh man. No. Whoa. She can't die. She can't. Whoa. That was too, th that was too much. Not again. Not now. Whoa. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Whoa, everything stopped. Keep going, Max. You can do it. Whoa, man. I can, whoa, I can also stop time. Man, this is cool. Yeah, let's save Kate Marsh. Whoa, I should have, uh, you know, I should have answered her call, by the way. Um, yeah, that's David. Yeah, let's get inside this door. Whoa, that man. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on, Max. Let's save Kate. Oh no. <gasps> oh, what now? What are you doing here, Max? Stop. Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Um, nothing that just to me. Um, mm, yeah, that's just the right one. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate! Uh -oh. Your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. You are such a liar. What? You wanted to help by ignoring uh -oh. my phone call? Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I need to lie. Yeah, my phone died. My phone died, and I didn't have my charger. I swear. I swear too. Bullshit. Everybody says that to get out of talking. Not me. In fact, I was going to get a brand new phone. 
Don't say anything if oh, you're going to use man. a dead phone excuse. Just tell me you didn't answer. I fucked up and I'm sorry. Look, I'm here for you now. Yeah, <laughs> we can't hey, rewind. Please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. Oh man, yeah. Means world. You were drug. Of course. Like I said this morning, I think Nathan is involved. I just need time to prove it. And I have a way with time. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only. Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up uh, unless I put myself to sleep. And then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Yeah, be strong. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Yes, go on. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Um. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about them. Um, your. your yeah, your mother. Let's say. What mother. about your mother, Kate? You'll destroy her. She doesn't care about a video. She loves you. You don't know my mother at all. Yeah. She already <laughs> thinks Satan has me on the fast track to hell. Let's prove it. Oh no! Oh man! Whoa! I, I will. Um, I'm not sure if she she was supposed to die or I can still save her. Well, if I can save her, I think I made the wrong. You know, the wrong. I know Choices. this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Yeah, what about me? Miss Caulfield. Why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Yeah. I'm glad to. Um, Nathan... Okay. Yeah. Um, in this tree, I think Nathan is the, you know, 
if it wasn't for Nathan, I think, you know, she would not be um, videoed, something like that. So, yeah, let's just, let's choose Nathan. It's all about the video. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Nah, I I'm fine with that. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Wow, that, this is, <laughs> this episode was insane. I wonder what Chloe texted me. I just me. can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren... Yeah, that's right. I don't mean to sound weird, but... There's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Oh my son. <laughs> Wow, so yeah, this game um, ha has a lot of topics and themes around it. There's a problem of, you know, teenage life, um, climate change, and, you know, weird, weird, you know, space things. And also, it's a crime, crime investigation thing, something like that. And man, this, this game is great. I, I'm still in episode 2, I haven't fi finished the whole game, but still, you know, I recommend you guys that 
man, you really need to play this game. Even though you have the, you already know the the story, because you guys have been watching me play it. But there's a lot of choices, and you know, there's a lot of consequences. And man, wow, yeah, Victoria is crying because it's Nathan. Man, Nathan is smiling. I hate that guy. Yeah, I think Victoria is crying because you know, yeah. She's against Kate, something like that. And yeah, that's the fisherman with his dog. So episode one is snowfall. Episode two is an eclipse. Okay, what's next? Yeah, poor Kate. Yeah, I think this scene is you know it's not rendered in real time, so. I guess Kate did die. Yeah, it's Chloe. I mean, I can't, I can't wait for episode three. By the way, oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh man, the music. I might get another copyright strike because of the music. Hmm. Yeah, they keep on they keep on foreshadowing about racial. Yeah, I think Rachel will, will will appear in the you know in the future episodes. Um. Yeah, let's see our choices. Oh, the, can I skip this? Okay, so yeah, you. Um, no mind that. Um. Yeah, you told Kate to go to the police. Uh -huh. the answer mm -hmm. okay whoa whoa yeah we can't save Kate's life whoa man whoa I should have saved Kate's life okay yeah um that is um that is life is strange episode two out of time and yeah, it's out of time because you know the story um, involves around Kate, Kate Marsh. So yeah, thanks for watching. For more Life is Strange videos, um, subscribe and if you guys like the video, leave a like and share it to your friends. And again, thanks for watching and goodbye. And by the way, I cannot wait for episode three. And again, <laughs> goodbye.